modern technology has yet to figure out or to be able to duplicate the pyramids. Of course, of course, the pyramid. If you can just imagine, the Great Pyramid of Khufu is a building which from the time of its construction around 2400 BC until 1884 when the Washington Monument was built. You know, you, you, you are you're casually, as you would do, throwing out numbers. Right. But I want my listening audience and those viewing around the world to hear you and to hear you well. 2,400 years, 2,400 years before the birth of Christ, right. what we know as modern society. Mm -hmm. 2,400 years before then, the pyramid. Right. The, the Great Pyramid of Khufu was built. Uh, and so that building, if you can imagine, it's a building that's two and a half, two and a half blocks wide by two and a half blocks wide by two and a half blocks wide by two and a half blocks wide, comprised of over four million stone blocks, which weigh an average of two and a half tons each, as much as a car. There was enough stone in this one building to make 30 Empire State buildings. It is the, still today the most perfectly lined structure to true north in existence. And no, it was not built by Jews when they were enslaved uh, in Egypt. Jews were never enslaved in Egypt. Jewish scholars are beginning to acknowledge that historical reality. So if the Jews were enslaved in Egypt and the pyramid was built 2400 BC before Abraham was born, then how can the Jews create something before they came into existence? When you study our story, our history, you realize that other people's story just does not hold up. And that in and of itself is a mind freeing experience. What's your sense of how because you're talking about a 4,500-pound stone mm -hmm. that was lifted mm -hmm. more than 19 stories. Mm -hmm. Well, well, the uh, Great Pyramid of Khufu is, was originally 48 stories, 480 feet tall. Like I said, more than, <laughs> like I said, more than 19 stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's, what's, what's your sense? Well, brother, you know, the truth of the matter is I don't know how it was built. But I know, as, as you said correctly, the technology does not exist today to replicate that structure. There are five stones in the inner recesses of that building that weigh in excess of 70 tons, more than a railroad locomotive. We don't have the technology today to move one stone that weighs 70 tons. Okay, so, so that is the mystery, and that is also one of the reasons why we are taught that Egypt is not in Africa. Egypt is in so, supposedly in the Middle East. There's no such thing as the Middle East. What folk are dealing with is removing Africans from Africa, removing African history from the history, from the story of African people, and assign it to other people, whether that history is, is political history, scientific history, or religious history. Our story has been stolen and has been used by others to empower themselves, and that's one of the reasons why we are the most uh, physically, emotionally, economically, and spiritually disenfranchised people on this planet because we don't know our story. We listen to everyone else's interpretation of us, and all of those interpretations present us at our lowest. So until we can step back and be courageous enough to identify that, that African that is in us and begin to see the world through their eyes, we will always be inferior to others. The... Greeks. And worship the gods of others as opposed to worshiping our own gods. We don't even know the names that Africans use to describe the, the unseen creator.